G'day everyone, it's Warren from NQ Explorers. A short uh, settings video today on the Garrett Axiom ground balance window. Now the ground balance window is a unique feature on Garrett detectors. It's uh, available on the VLF range on the AT Gold where it's manually adjustable, on the AT Max where it's automatic, and also on the Axiom pulse induction machine where it's also fully automatic. So what is the Garrett ground balance window? Well, basically when you ground balance a machine, you're bobbing the coil up and down, holding the ground balance button on the spot. And the machine balances to whatever soil, the ground that you're showing it while you're ground balancing. Now let's say that's value X. Now on a uh, AT Gold, you can actually adjust it manually to X plus six, X minus six. So that means that as the ground varies, it'll account for the ground balance variation and you won't have any chatter, or it'll minimize the chatter. It'll get to the point where you now exceed the ground balance window and you'll have to ground balance again. So as soon as you touch the ground balance button, the window will reset to zero. Now, uh, on an AT Max, it's automatic, it's fully automatic, so the more ground you show it, uh, the more it'll adjust the ground balance window, once again from zero, from your X point, uh, to plus or minus six. That means, let's say you're ground balancing uh, on a VLF at uh, with a value of 90 at ground balance uh, window 6 uh, you're getting uh, ground variation adjustments between uh, 84 and 96 so it should uh, theoretically um, reduce the chatter as the ground changes as you move along and it does do that but on an AT Max to open the ground balance window uh, automatically you don't ground balance it vertically you side balance it. So the ground balance window on the Garrett Axiom pulse induction detector is also fully automatic it's not available to the general menu system. It's available by pressing the ground balance button down and holding it for a period of 10 seconds. You get a double beep, and now you're in the ground balance window adjustment. You keep the button depressed once you've gone past the double beep. And what you do is you show the machine, the coil, as much ground as possible and as much variation while you're holding the button down. It'll adjust accordingly the width of the ground balance window from your X point, and when you release the button, it's now balanced to all the ground that you've just shown it. This works really well if you've got a couple of hot rocks in the spot too because it'll balance uh, as a medium between the hot rock, the cold rock and the ground. So now you're running a wider ground balance than you were just narrowly balancing on the one spot. I'll demonstrate it now. Okay, the machine's on and it is ground balanced. Now if I go to the menu system, you can see if we've got mode, frequency scan, tone, your audio system, headphone link, backlight, swing speed, ground tracking. They're the available menu items. The ground balance window is actually hidden in the machine, it's not in that menu. So what I do is I hold down the ground balance button for a period of 10 seconds and you'll hear a double beep. That's it. Now, I've still got the button down. And I'll show this machine as much ground as possible. What it's doing now is reading the ground and it's adjusting the ground balance window from zero to two or four or six plus or minus the median value. Now, as you can see, it's not varying much. I've got ground balance written there above the 50, which is the upper ground channel. 27 is the lower ground channel. Now, if I release the button, the machine is ground balanced and it accounts for any variability in the soil. As you can hear, the threshold is lovely and stable. If you start getting a bit of variation, you can ground balance again or adjust your window by going back into the ground balance window system. Not generally that necessary because if you're moving at a reasonable speed, you don't want to be belting through the bush looking for gold, you need to be going at a reasonably slow speed. Um, it will adjust, the window will adjust at a normal swing speed. Now if I ground balance again now, see your lower channel's changed to 28, but now I'm back out of the ground balance window system, it's set to zero and it's set to the bit of ground where that core is looking now. Well I hope you found that helpful, the Garrett Axiom ground balance window system. Happy fossicking!